Hello, YouTube. I'm a Soul Survivor. I'm new here. Be gentle with me. I wanted to create this channel to help out other streamers with uh, stream technology. There's loads of videos on um, OBS, um, on bots that you can use in Twitch, um, but there's like a real shortage um, for videos around like using Mix Setup Bot, which is what I use um, in my streams. Having tried a bunch of other bots, um, it is definitely my favorite. There's literally nothing you can't do with it. The only kind of caveat is that you do need a PC. Um, so if you are streaming straight from Xbox, you won't be able to kind of get the overlays and things um, or mix it up. Um, Can you count how many times Sol says um in this video? But yeah, we've got five five things to get through that you can do with mix it up for. So I'm hoping that at least some of these things on the list you didn't know were a thing. So this is the bot, mine is pink because why not? The first thing that I wanted to show you guys was overlays. So this is something that I didn't actually know about for a very long time until I started wanting to make more complex animations on my streams. You can add multiple different overlays. This is super useful for if you want to do multiple stage animations to add a new layer. Um, you just need to type in a name and then click add. And then once it's been added, you just click the link and then that will open it over here. And then you copy it and then we're going to get a bit of inception now, guys. So inception. Pop it in a new browser source. I'm just going to call that browser. Paste it in. I would always recommend that you do your, um, your height and width as 1920 times 1080 which is the resolution in OBS, not, not 180, 1080, because then it makes for easier placement. So now that's in, jump up back over here. So I can show you an animation that I've done that uses multiple overlays. Baby shark, here we go. This is one of my first ever sort of more complex animations. Before this, I was more doing a little gif and a sound. There's three different um, sharks that come up, do a little dance, and then it's got like a sea background behind it. Baby shark. Baby shark. As you can see in here, I've got an image overlay. This is one of the little sharks. You just need to select the overlay to use. So here I've got default, but we can select any of our new ones. If you wanted to have multiple layers, you just whack different overlays in and select different layers. Tip number two is randomized action groups. So this is something that I like to use a lot. One of my most popular buttons in my mix play is my do not press button, which actually consists of multiple action groups. We can see we trigger it from here. Um, so to get into this, we just need to go into action groups and mix it up. You can see here, I've got like 20 screams. Each action group is just a sound alert. Once we've gathered together our individual um, scream alerts, we then need to pop them into the, another action group. So if you're following, you've got, in my case, 19 different screams, each in their own action group, and then another action group. The reason why we have to put this in here is so that we can run one randomly. So it's not always the same one every time. So each time you press that button, you get a different screen. Within this action group, we need to um, be running our other action groups. So you can see here, I've got run command, action group, um, that's screen one. And then we just do the same thing for all of the other ones. And just make sure that you've got run one randomly switched on. Tip number three is hot creek hot key integration hot key integration on the screen right now we have voice mods for anyone that doesn't know about voice mod it can put different voice changes on your microphone and it's free to use there is a pro version um which i have because i want all the features all you need to do to get this to work with the mix it up bot is to set your um, control keys in here. To do that, you literally just click in on this particular application, just click in there and then press what keys you want and then okay it on. Um, and then in Mix It Up, well, you just need to mirror that. For me, um, it's to and click um, is start and stop voice changer. So that's how we start voice changer. And then for and click. So why are you shouting? Puts on ear defenders. 
is hear my voice so I can actually hear the voice changer coming on although it does um, on voice mod for anyone that doesn't use it already it does make a little beepy noise so you can hear it coming on um, and then we have um, three and control um, which is going to randomize the voice um, so you can see it there randomize all voices or if you wanted to guys you could just select um, any voice from here you could whack a control key in one of these and do the same way and then we have the wait that allows for 20 seconds of the voice before we then do another input turn it off and turn off listen to voice voice mod is one of the best applications to integrate with mix it up and your mix play another one that you can integrate is snap cam that's something that i do have integrated as well that works slightly differently because snap cam is a little bit awkward with its control keys for snap cam we have to run the program um so we run the program and then we have to input from there but what you will find is that you have to like kill the application before the stream and test it because the control keys seem to like unmap for some reason um so that's the only kind of problem with that one but once you can get it working as long as you're willing to test it before every stream you can for sure integrate it with your mix play Tip number four. Now, tip number four is about using read and write to file. So here on my Xbox scene, I have my latest follower um, and I have my latest host. Um, so the way that that works, there's a little bit of stuff in Mix It Up. There's a little bit of stuff in OBS. If we jump into events, um, this works in channel follow, but obviously you can do this in any command. The bit that we care about here is file at the bottom. So what we do, is we um, select the save to file action um, and then we need to set our file path. So you need this to be a TXT file. One thing that I have noticed about Mix It Up Bot is it does for some reason, um, if you don't actually create the file first yourself, create a weird file type. Um, so to create a new TXT file, if you just go to the location that you want um, and then new and then TXT document, um, I'm just calling it that for now, then you would select that and save. And then it will ask you if you want to overwrite, which is fine. Um, but you just want to make sure you've got that step in there. Otherwise, you're going to have problems with it pulling through to OBS. Once that's done, you need to select the text to save. So if I just click this link here, and I'll pull this over for you, um, that link there that you just saw, special identifiers reference, that appears throughout Mix It Up Bot everywhere where it might want you to use a special identifier. Here, for this purpose, we're just gonna use uh, this identifier, which is username. So that will pull through the person that has followed you. Or if you're using a command, it'll pull through the person that's used the command. Or if you're um, at, like the host, something like that, donation, it'll all pull through the same, the person that's done that action. So then what we need to do- Soul is an idiot and recorded this on the wrong scene so you can't see anything she is doing in OBS. Nice job, Soul, professional YouTuber. Um, and obviously mine are already in here, um, is we would need to pull through that file. So it's the text GDI, and then you want it to read from file, and then you would need to browse to your file. So you can see that's pulled through. Um, so OBS will pull any font that you have installed on your PC through. Um, through. So that's just Arial. So I, I like the font reckoner. It's the free font. So I would set it to that. What you can also do um, is you can set the background color. Don't do that. Probably not a good choice. Text color, something readable. You should also be able to set an outline color. Then to get it to rotate, um, to rotate, to scroll, we need to whack a filter on it. Scroll. For me, I like it to be quite slow. Um, so I normally set it to about 15 horizontal speed, vertical speed, if you have a look, it's gonna do that, which you don't want. So we just want that at like zero. What I would say about this and OBS is it can break sometimes. When it does, when the scroll breaks, just restart OBS, kill it in task manager. That was sorted straight out. Boolean logic is what they call it in the biz. What biz is that, So, It's basically the concept of zeros and ones or trues and falses. Um, so a zero would be a false result and then a one would be a positive result. And the way that you can actually get that to work in Mix It Up Bot is by using a counter. So um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do our true and false result. I actually tried to film this earlier and I couldn't find my action groups. Can we get some F in the chat for this failure, please? 
So we're gonna whack them in a command group. So we're gonna call it Boolean. And so this is our true result. We're just going to put a chat message in. So this is a true result. So we're gonna just put true in the chat. Then we are gonna do another one, which is gonna be our false result. Always select advanced command. So this is a false result. So in chat message, we're gonna put that as false. Now that we have our true and false results, we need to implement our Boolean logic. So what we can do um, is we can do that with a counter. This normally comes in the form of two commands. If we put this command in as set counter, set counter true, save the file, probably a good shout. It's just gonna whack itself in the counters folder. If you click that, it will show you where that is. We wanna give it a name. Um, it says it's in here, but do not put a dollar sign in it. Um, so I'm just gonna call it set counter to true. We want to set it to one. We're going to run the counter so that it actually creates a file. So if we just click play on there, that will pull through. So then if we go back into our kind of folder, set kind of true is there. Now I'm going to rename it because it's a little bit confusing. So we're just going to call it set counter because this is going to be used for both our true and false action. Um, so we've just set it there. Let's just jump in. It should have created a new file. Open it up, you can see in there that we've got one, which is fantastic news. Now, big tip here, if we export this to file, it's gonna be quite good to kind of duplicate it because we essentially need to duplicate it and reverse it. Export that, pop it in my mixer of file. Then we'll do a new command, import action from file, counter, and now we wanna reset it. So resetting it is gonna be zero. So we're gonna call this set counter false. Now what we need to do is basically put it all together. What we've done here um, is we're calling set counter. So set counter is the file that we created earlier. Set counter equals one. Then action group. Uh, that's the wrong one. Let's get the right one. Great job, Sol. True result, perfect. We'll just duplicate that. If it's zero, then we want to go for a load false result. Let's test this out. If we go into our counters folder, that counter is one. So if I do the condition, then in chat, it should pull up the word true. We just press play to put it through and then have a look in our chat. Yeah, so Codsway, my bot, has come through and said true. This is obviously in this example, not doing anything other than putting through a true or false in chat. But the way that I have seen this used is I have used it to check if people um, have run a certain command. I've used it to check if people have responded. Um, there was a command that I set up for a friend of mine a little while ago. Um, she wanted a hug me command and then she wanted chat users to respond with a hug. And then if um, they hadn't responded, then she wanted the bot to um, to hug them instead, to respond with a hug. I put this exact logic in for her for this. I hope you learned some new stuff about things that you could do in Mix It Up. If you guys have any kind of questions or anything like that, I will pop a link down below to my Discord. Uh, we have a tech help channel. If you wanted to ask me anything about Mix It Up, I'm very new. Um, so if you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and like, um, and I'll see you guys for the next video. Goodbye.